Hello and welcome to 3D Primitives Generator version 3.0. As the name applies, this awesome tool will allow you to generate simple 3D primitives natively inside After Effects with only shapes, solids, and nulls. For this update, in addition to cube and cylinder, we now have pyramid and prism. And instead of huge, UI with tabs, we now have a simpler one with buttons for each primitive and each button contains the functions and UI for that specific one. First, cube. Like the older version, you can create a cube or cuboid from either values or faces. From values, you need to provide X, Y, and Z, and the tapered top or down, and hit generate. You will get your cube. Inside, you will get six compositions for the six faces. The controller, you have a taper control and faces colors control. Since you selected a top taper, you will get a top taper control. Yet, if you generate another cube with the down taper selected, you will get the same cube, yet with a down taper for this time. This one got a top taper controls, and this one got the down taper controls. So that's the difference. As usual, you can play with each face's material since each face is a distinct composition. Like so. Each face from these contains an opacity and a color or a gradient with a stroke. Just like that. The second option is generate from faces. You will need to prepare your faces and use the naming functions to give each face a proper name so that the script will know which is which and make you a cube with a single head. F for face, B for back, L for left, R for right, T for top, D for down, select all six faces and hit generate from faces. And you will get your cube. In this particular example, I have four characters, Luca, Alberto, Monster Luca, and Monster Alberto. Now, if I select all faces for four characters, I can name them front, all backs, back, all lefts, left, all right, right, all top, top, and all down, down. And now, select each six faces and hit generate. This is Monster Alberto. This is Normal Alberto. This is Monster Luca. And finally, this is Luca. There you have it. With the help of this function, 
We were able to come up with this cool frame-by-frame -frame animation and composite it back with cool effects and sounds. Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! The taper function applies here as well. We created all of these with the down taper selected, so you can dive inside each one of these and find the control for taper, and voila. Second, cylinder. For the cylinder, you're going to provide a radius and height. Those default values will generate you a perfect coin, for example. Here you have it. Inside, you will get face, edge, one of the edges, and back. And the controller, you will have the radius. You got segments number as the function automatically defines the segments. You can decrease it to get a rough shape, even rougher. And control the gaps between them. Or you can increase it. And for this one, you will need extra edges. So just go to unshy these and duplicate the edges. And there you have it. Since each one of these are composition, you can do whatever you desire inside. Just like that. Third, pyramid. For the pyramid, you will need to provide base X, base Y, and height, and hit generate. The script will intelligently make you a proper pyramid. Inside, you will find your controller. You can control the taper, or you can control the colors. And since each face of these are distinct composition, you can do whatever you heart desire inside each one of these. Just like that. Fourth and last for this version is the prism. And like the pyramid, you will need to provide base X, base Y, and height, and hit generate. You will get your prism and a few controls inside as well. And each face is a distinct composition, so you can do whatever you desire inside each one. Now for the good old two functions, get and apply. Get will allow you to get the X and Y values in pixel to a selected layer. Like so. You can hit apply and that data is applied to X, Y and Z for the cube. That's it. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy it and find it useful and enlightening. Peace.